In this video I'm going to continue with the crankshaft and make the eccentrics. I've turned up a piece of cast iron bar and I'm marking some centre lines on the end. So I've milled some flats on here to get a better surface for these jaws to bear against and keep things true. And I've got it pretty much clocked in, not perfect but near enough. So we need to move it that way, well let's have a look. Yeah we need to move it that way, 732 to bring this centre line in line. Four point five. Oh, I think we're at the end of our travel there. Yeah, we are. Okay. In that case, we'll tighten up there. Because we ran out of travel on the DTI, it's not going to be perfectly right yet. But if you can imagine, so this is 5.5 millimeters offset, or 7 32ths. As we, as we rotate the chuck, this point is going to rotate around. So we move from there to there, it's actually moved twice the distance. It's moved from that position to that position at the other side of the center line. Okay, so on the DTI we've got to get twice the offset that we're looking for. So we want 7 32ths or 5.5 which means we're looking at 7 16ths on the dial or 11, 11 millimeters. One final check. Ten, eleven, point one, spot on. I'm going to take the unusual step of drilling and reaming the offset hole before finish turning the outside diameter. It's a bit of a long-winded way to go about the job, but it's my way.
I've got a 12 millimeter hand mill here and the shank measures 0.01 millimeters under size so it's slightly small, three tenths of a thou give it a try oh yeah it's a, it's a nice fit music so within 0.01 of a millimetre there I think that's fine Five. So it's point uh, oh two five under, and it's got a bit of a tailor. Oh two under. That's okay. It's within a thou anyway. So this will give me two plain eccentrics and one flanged eccentric. And then I'll have to put it back in the lathe to get another flanged eccentric. Because it's got an offset hole I didn't fancy trying to part this off in the lathe so I'm going to do it on the bandsaw. And I'm just going to hold it in this vise. And I've got an angle plate set to give me a, a measured uh, cut off thickness. So we'll give this a try. Once I've cut off this eccentric, I reface the workpiece in the lathe before cutting off the next one. So these plain eccentrics don't need to be perfectly parallel because I'm going to flash them over on the grinder but we'll get them somewhere near so if you just lightly tighten the chuck and just rock it and rotate it a bit find a sweet spot that should be pretty good Seven point four eight. I need to demagnetize this. Seven point four seven. Seven point four two. So it's within point zero five of a millimetre. That's like two thou. Okay, so I've had these on the surface grinder and I've just flushed them over and uh, ground them to size so they're exactly on quarter of an inch so the next and final part of the operation is to drill a hole through here which is for a group screw to uh, clamp it to the crankshaft 
I've turned down the head of a 10mm bolt to 12mm so that it fits on the uh, eccentric. And before I ground uh, these, one of them had a centre line uh, scribed on, so I used a square to line this up uh, vertical and then I put a little plate on the side up against the eccentric so that I can take these out and put them in all in exactly the same position. So we need to get this lined up with the drill. So if we get somewhere near, say about there, put a parallel up against the face, clamp that down, we can then move it sideways and I'm just going to use a ruler. This one looks pretty straight. Get a bit closer. Well, that would be pretty close, I think. And just put the against there. Okay. So we're a bit off. So I'll just move it. Okay, it just needs very small. It's a bit awkward. Uh, that looks about right. So I'll clamp that down on the back. Okay, so we can uh, put that eccentric on. I'm just told make us clamp just to keep it in place. We need to position this uh, spot drill in the centre of the eccentric. So I'll take that off and I'm going to put it on this little block. You might have seen this before in a previous video. And that's going to go on there. Clamp that down. Okay, release. I clamp it to the rear. And what I can do is bring the drill down. So this is 3mm diameter. I can bring the work up against the drill. Okay, so the center line of the drill is 1.5 millimeters offset from the face. Just clamp it down temporarily. Lift the drill. So we need to move 1.5 millimeters plus the eighth of an inch, um, which is uh, the eighth of an inch is 3.2, so that's 4.7 millimeters. So I've got a 4.7 millimeter drill. Okay, and I'm just going to stick that in there. Tighten this block up. Take out the drill and clamp the uh, angle plate. Bring that forward. There, we should be pretty much in the middle. So I think we're pretty well lined up. the hole a little bit just to take off the rags.
thanks for watching. See you next time.